Senator Magnus. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, uh, I, I uh, save this uh, overview of the police or the Public Utilities Commission from their presentation uh, to us on July or, or uh, January 11th this year. Senator Stump and I have been talking or, or looking at this a little bit and in, 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 in thinking of some ideas here and. Uh, concerns that I would have, and, and, I, and I know, uh, Madam Chairman, Commissioner Anderson, you've been a great supporter of uh, renewable energies in the, in the past, and, and you know, I am too, I'm, I'm the, uh, my, my district is the, is the uh, upper center of the world for renewable energy. <laughs> huge, uh, huge wind farms and, and uh, ethanol plants, biodiesel plants, and soon to be the first biobutanol plant in the world uh, is there, but uh, as, as, as uh, discussions have been going on, and I know uh, Senator Howie talked about your district here the other day, uh, uh, they're not too uh, enamored about uh, wind in, in a lot with, with a lot of the folks there, and uh, we've got a huge, uh, huge wind uh, resource in my area, the internationally famous Buffalo Ridge. Senator Kubley and I share that, and uh, so we've got a lot of turbines out there, and. Uh, uh, some folks like them and some folks don't like them as well, but uh, since we have them there and we don't have too many people, our, 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 our districts are shrinking and we don't have the, uh, the uh, you know, that immediate need for, for energy. We've got to move it on. So I was looking in here and I'm looking at siting and routing. I'm looking at transmission lines and, you know, we've had that discussion for years too. And we've had this, some of the studies and, and uh, I guess first I'd like to ask, ask you, uh, uh, Commissioner Anderson, what your thoughts are on, on, on transmission lines because I know the, the PUC is charged with citing those of 100 kilo or, or KV or more and uh, 1,500 feet or more in length. And it, could you just give me some of your thoughts about this so I get a feeling on how we're going to, how we're going to move some of this uh, energy around to the places that we need it? Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Senator Anderson, thank sorry. <laughs> no, no, just making, looking for the gavel up there. So, yes. Thank you, Mr. Switch Chair hands. and Senator yes. Magnus. Yes. Um, that's a great question, and um, there's a number of transmission siting cases coming up before us, so I'm going to be a little circumspect in my answer. Um, we, the PUC has approved the siting of the first big CapEx line, the Brookings line, and as I understand it, that line is really um, intended to help support renewables because of where it is. And um, related to that, going back to kind of where Senator House started us and where you were touching on, one thing that's been interesting is um, because there's been transmission um, sort of um, gaps and um, log jams in recent years, more of the wind siting, more of the wind projects have been located closer into the metro area because there's just not transmission available in the further out parts of the state like your district that have the greater wind resources. And so I do believe that as we site more of those longer transmission lines and move forward with building out and um, um, supplementing the grid, that that will help bring the wind farm siting more back to the really high speed wind areas that are a little bit more rural and maybe there won't be quite, I'm hopeful, not quite as much contention, but who knows? That can't really be predicted. Um, I did carry the bill in 2005 that allowed the utilities to get cost recovery for those for CapEx 2020 to bring in, to build out the transmission. Um, and um, so I guess I'm not sure what I can say. Just generally, I think, you know, the transmission grid is, has not been modernized in a long time, and it's slowly but surely moving forward. Well, I, I, Madam Chair, and, and I, you know, I know these are, these are tough questions to, to try to figure out, but I, and that's what I'm trying to do is sort through this and to try to, try to 
have a little vision of where we of what's going to happen in the, in the future and I know we have great resources out there that we, we're trying to to utilize to the best extent possible and the best ways possible and uh, and so I you know I know uh, I know uh, we, we do have that situation where we have great wind resources in my area and not unfortunately don't have the demand for the for the electricity so we need to work some of that out but one other 